Let's take a look how to create these trending AI fill images using CapCut for desktop. The effect is not perfect, but pretty impressive. It also works on artwork, however, sometimes the algorithm does get confused from time to time. Just like with this image. Conan the Barbarian on a water tower? Enough talk, let's get to work. First, you need an image. I will use an AI-generated image for this tutorial and drag it to the timeline. As we want to see the before and the after, I'm going to make a copy using the copy and paste keyboard shortcuts, so that the effect can be applied to the copy. Let's make sure our copy is behind the original image and is selected. The effect is pretty easy to apply. Go to the AI Stylize tab while the image is selected and enable the Style checkbox. The AI Fill should be in the list of trending styles. If it is not, you can find it under the AI Painting style. Press on the AI Fill style and give it a couple of seconds to have it generated. Pretty awesome. The cool part is that we can keep applying this effect if we want to zoom out even further. I will quickly scale the current image to fit the canvas and then from the player window use the export still frame to create a new image. This will add the created still frame as an image to our library. I can now drag this to the timeline and apply the same trick. Nice, let me quickly do it one more time just because we can. For the transition between the images we can use the pull out transition. To apply the pull-out transition, switch to the transition tab in the main window and drag and drop the pull-out transition between the two clips. I'll also shorten the transition duration for a more stronger impact. Let's also apply the same steps for the remaining transitions. Before wrapping up, a quick preview. Looks pretty nice. To wrap up this video, we can also go the other way around, creating a zoom in instead of a zoom out. I'll duplicate the images in reverse order and put them to the timeline. For the transition, instead of a pull out, we can use a pull in transition. Here is the final preview, where we first zoom out and then zoom back in. Pretty awesome. Hope you liked this quick video and thanks again for tuning in.